All right, so same as before, we have this 1,500 lumen, uh, what is it, 15 watt bulb. Uh, let's see, first of all, what it looks like on the watt meter. I hate this watt meter, like, I hope no one buys it. Holy shit. So that's the lowest. Highest. What's the actual consumption? All right, it's 15 watts, eh, not bad. What does it even say 14.5, 14.7, what was it? Yeah, oh, bang on, okay. So uh, first off, we'll need to open the dome. Uh, be careful, uh, some might be uh, made of glass. This is definitely not the case. And so I'll first try and, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't want to come off. So you'll need one of these. You can buy these on AliExpress. They're, I don't know, pretty cheap, like two, three dollars. And uh, what you want to do is somehow get inside and cut. Uh, what they usually have is some kind of uh, silicon. Uh, what is it called? Uh, right, that sanitary silicone type deal. Uh, caulk, I think it's called. And uh, that's pretty easy to separate. Just uh, have to go around as deep as possible, right? I mean, size does matter. And Jesus. Okay, let's try. risk of cutting yourself open with one of these jobs is on 74%. Trust me, I ran the math. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Oh, and I might have snapped an LED. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay. Did I fuck up an LED or not? I've impacted what seems to be LED 14 pretty badly, but uh, should be fine. So next up, we have to get to the power supply. Usually some LEDs, uh, some LED bulbs will have everything on this PCB. In this case, they've uh, ran out of space because of all the LEDs, so. Uh, shouldn't pose much of an issue. Most of these uh, newer LEDs have some current uh, regulation facility, so. Should be fine. All right, a lot of uh, thermal compound, very good. Uh, incidentally, this bulb was around five euro, uh, four euros. So not, not the cheapest, but for 1,400 lumens, uh, 1,500, what did it say again? Uh, it doesn't say here, set on the box, yeah, about 1,500, there about. Okay, uh, what do we take this off with? Uh, oh my God. Yeah, I'll just try and jimmy it off. Okay. What I have noticed is that this thing uh, attacks skin pretty badly, or at least my shit skin. skin. So do, do wipe it off. I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but anyway. So next up, we'll have to uh, pop off the end cap. Okay. So these come off like that, and this releases one of the one of the wires. Now we should technically maybe be able to pull this off. Pull this out. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. The other connection is just a regular press fit, which is pretty dodgy, but anyway. Not a lot going on over here, except these two resistors, right, which you can see. Um, not sure how charged this is, but should be fine. So, you can see they're uh, usually in bags of two, right next to the controller chip. Uh, this would be a buck converter, as it seems. Uh, so just a simple inductor, this will not be, uh, right, you can see there's no separation. Uh, so this thing will be live over here. Uh, what do we have? So that's better. 
so 3.3 and uh, 3.4 so I'll just pop off this one just because it's a bit easier and the values are quite close together so this should reduce the wattage by half or thereabouts right so we're seeing 14.5 14.7 should see about 7 which will mean this bulb will run insanely cooler so it'll run way more than twice as cool and uh, it'll live a long and prosperous life I'm just trying to remove as much uh, residue as possible though it's a pretty high current situation, so it's not going to be an issue if... Ah, it's good enough. Okay. I'm not sure how this is supposed to go as well. Oh, it has this, this slot here. Okay, very nice. How are you supposed to line this up? Bunch of capacitors, but pretty small ones, so this should have a... Mm, or yeah, maybe not that small. I know this should probably still hold the charge, but I'll try and be... Careful as it can be. Oh yeah, this is not actually that hard. False alarm. Or is it? I don't know. Motherfucker. Fuck. Okay, so now the thing is holding on to the wire extremely tightly. Ow, oh, fuck. Alright. Anyway... Take two, and we'll have to bend these back as well. You can see I'm very crafty. It even wants this to be neutral. How nice. Okay. So again, and uh, we'll have to mind all the slots because apparently it's a thing. Okay. All right. And the live has come over here, so that's nice. We're gonna press fit it back into place with force. Okay, it's good. Let's put the. Um, how am I gonna do this? Oh my god! I've bent this bent these at what like four times anyway we're not going to be repeating this anytime soon so eh. Okay. Is this keyed in any way? I don't think so. Let me just uh, try and remove more of the silicone over here because it, it is pissing me off. Yeah, 
and normally you would put some um, some new sanitary silicone back in um, right it's uh, this kind expensive stuff is a lot better i've noticed and it's a good idea to put it in some syringes and just leave a pip out and every time you're done uh, be sure to leave another small pip out in this case i do want this to be a spotlight uh, so this will be replacing an incandescent spotlight so i will not be putting the dome back in so uh yeah i'm not really fussed about all the glue and keep in mind if you will touch this bulb uh, while it's plugged in doesn't even have to be running you will get a 50 percent chances you'll get a good zap uh, if the wiring is done better in your building it probably goes below 50 percent but uh pretty sure my place it's bang on 50 percent Right, this is looking a lot better now. Fuck. All right, so let's uh, see what we're looking at now. Again, we're expecting about seven watts. Or it blows up, I mean, you never know. I might actually cut these because these are frightening. Okay, seven watts. All right, so that's been it. And uh, right now this bulb will run a lot cooler. It'll last a lot longer. And it'll run more efficient actually, right? Because once you push LEDs very hard, their efficiency also drops. Um, yep, yeah, that's about it. I have a few more videos on this topic. Big Clive has a lot of videos on this topic. Uh, actually, I got the idea from him. And uh, yeah. Outside of this, I'll uh, let you guys to it. Have fun. Peace.